Big poses a threat to delivery of health services to people living with HIV and AIDS in the country. The Ministry of Health has said, uh, said and this is as the government confirmed, that 96% of people living with HIV and AIDS in the country are on life-saving treatment. David Mudoka reports. As the COVID-19 pandemic ravages the country, shadow pandemics seem to be inflicting more misery on the government's attempts to literally save the nation. This as the country continues in its efforts to control the HIV and AIDS pandemic. According to Health CAS Dr. Masi Mwangangi, 96% of the 1.1 million people living with the disease in the country are receiving antiretroviral treatment. But Mwangangi says that HIV testing and monitoring in the country have since been dealt a blow by the COVID-19 pandemic. She adds that HIV testing volumes have reduced, culminating in low outpatient visits in hospitals and a further decline in medication refill for ARVs. This putting people living with HIV and AIDS at a greater health risk if they do not undertake regular viral load suppression. And so it becomes important really today to focus on this condition, noting the gains made in the country, but emphasizing that we do need to pay attention to ensure that we don't lose on the results that we've gained. It could be a double tragedy with HIV and AIDS, among underlying conditions that make COVID-19 deadlier. Other underlying issues include hypertension and diabetes. We are witnessing majority of the deaths in patients who have underlying issues, such as diabetes, hypertension, and HIV AIDS, amongst others. This as the country recorded 667 new positive cases from a pool of 5,075 samples today. This takes total confirmed cases so far to 16,268. 311 recoveries were recorded with the total tally of recoveries standing at 7,446. On the flip side, 11 fatalities were recorded today among them a child said to have suffered from rickets. Even as we impose physical distancing, even as we say stay at home, then it means that if our children are staying at home, particularly those who live in apartments or areas where there are no fields, and it means that there's a risk when it comes to rickets. And with Nairobi recording worrying COVID-19 figures, Nairobi Metropolitan Service Director General Mohamed Badi has said the NMS is working round the clock to establish 24 level 2 hospitals in four slums within the capital. We are now in the process of uh, building 24 hospitals within the informal settlements, so by end of September there will be new facilities. We feel that the setup of these hospitals will be a game changer for Nairobi. We will have level 2 hospitals and we'll also have level 3 hospitals and highly focused pro to providing essential services in these areas. HIV and AIDS remains a serious underlying condition even as the government intends to keep COVID-19 mortality figures attributed to underlying conditions at bay. But the government now insists that patients with underlying conditions to adhere to its guidelines if the fight against COVID-19 is going to be considered a victorious one. David Muthoka, TV47, Nairobi.